What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Cole Stride here, and welcome to The Surge 2. Without wasting too much time on this intro, if you guys are as excited as much as I am for The Surge 2, hit that like button down below and subscribe for more because it does help me out a lot. And with that being said, I love you guys, and let's jump right into it and see what The Surge 2 has in store for us. New game, empty, save file, one. What if machines were pure? A basic universal concept without morals or destiny. Yet because they are created by humans, inheriting all their countless imperfections, how could machines ever be better than us? Would they not, by design, follow the path of their creators and, in the end, fail? God, what is it? It's coming right at us. Are you basic maneuvers? Take you basic maneuvers! Please brace for impact. Well, that was one hell of a start to this game. And now, we get to Critter Character, which is always a win in my book. I always love when games give you the choice to create your own character. I don't mind having a uh, character they made for the main character, but I always like the option, at least. <laughs> um, here is all the character. We got Mining Wars Veteran, Search and Rescue Officer, uh, Zero Certified Heavy Operator, um, Zero Certified Field Technician, a former arms smuggler, and Corporate Middle Manager. I'm gonna go with the former arms smuggler. There was only one way to break the vicious cycle that had become your life, spending all the money you set aside over the years for this one ticket, to bring you to the other end of the world where you hope that the grass is greener, or at least that there will be grass at all. Hmm. We'll do. Alright, we got different hairstyles. Ain't too bad. Ain't too bad right there. A little too messy for my taste. <laughs> um, a lot cleaner, which I like it. Definitely bedhead. <laughs> so far I'm liking this hairstyle a lot, so I'm gonna go with that. Make it black. Skin, I'll make her as young as possible, and I'm gonna keep it like that. That looks perfect. Give her a little tan. Face. Hmm. So far, the face she has ain't too bad, honestly, but I'll check the other ones out for the hell of it. Um. Hmm. So far, this one's not looking too bad. I like that. Um. Let's see, chin. So far, I like this one. Hmm. I like the chin to be a little up and not too much of a somewhat double chin way. It looks pretty damn good. Yeah, I like this one. This one ain't too bad. Fullness. Keep it like that. Looks pretty good. Not too bad. Eyes. Do you like that? Hmm. I'll just cycle through the other ones just to see what they are. So far, I like them. Pretty good. Color of the iris. Hmm. Kind of like those. I always like the yellow eyes. I don't know why that eye color doesn't look like it, because that's dark orange and shit. <laughs> that is bright orange, and it doesn't look like the picture. 
interesting. I'm gonna go with the first one because that is pretty neat. Eyebrows. Do you like this one? But I'm gonna go because I do like this one the most right here. That one's cool for aesthetic purposes. It kind of reminds me of the uh, same eyebrow the woman had in like Cyberpunk 2077's trailer. <laughs> She had, I don't know if she had an eyebrow like that. I think that's what she had. But uh, I'm going to go with that. And black. So that looks pretty good. Nose. No, she had ain't too bad. So I might not mess with it too much. That looks pretty good. I'm going to stick with that. Mouth. Ooh, um... I kind of like that. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I want my ears to be up. At least as far as they can be up. Like that. It looks pretty good. Outfits. I've seen a lot of people play as this um, outfit the most. <laughs> at least the ones I, the people I watch at least. But I'm going to go with the white hoodie. Looks pretty good. Confirm. Two months later. Shit, it's been that damn long. Jeez. Must have been in a damn coma. Medical report TS1. Our new patient has been in a semi delirious state for weeks. The subject seems to be reliving traumatic memories of Flight 221. A girl. And some sort of anomaly. It's not over. But. This can't be true. There was only one survivor in the crash. There she is. Look out! It's gonna kill you! At least she looks good during the cutscene, at least. Running pretty smoothly, so it's a good thing. Just get a hang of the controls a little bit. It's a little bit more different from the other Dark Souls style games. Key card and medical staff I am required. This is Warden Garcia. We've located a major security breach. All prisoners stay in their cells. Robotic guards have been deployed. Okay, I'll deal with them too. <laughs> Escape convict surrender now. All done. <laughs> in here. Got a little health thing here. I'm already full. Medical Play audio log. Number TS2. The patient you brought me some weeks ago is still in coma. Cannot determine if she's infected. Sirs, I am just level one doctor in a police detention facility. But I do not recommend transplant. Not yet. Alright, let's move on. Get to this prison. What the fuck? Uh huh. Skip the prison. Alright, son of a bitch. Give me 
get topped off there. Oh, we got a big boy coming down. Come on down there. And you're done. <laughs> you, you, please, you gotta let me out. I'm not a criminal, just an average joke. Can't open it yet. Don't leave Door. Oh, I have to get a extra suit to open that door. that door. Alright, let's open this door. Let's see if we can find an exosuit. GCP armory. Oh, of course. Think you can mess with me? I'll kill you dead. It's like those damn cops. I'm acquired. Oh, that was a little bit more annoying than it sh should have been. But I can't really dodge right now until I get my excess suit. What we got here? Audio log. You are now eligible to redeem your customized MG Exo Rig Mark 12. Surgery is a thing of the past. The new MG is faster, more powerful, and sleeker than ever. Once you strap it on, it'll meld with your molecules in a flash. The metamorphosis is so seamless, you'll neither know nor care which functions are still performed by your own body. Let MG take control of your nervous system and take back control of your life. Alright, here we go. Welcome, Officer Johnson. New mid-bay unlocked. Rig installation in progress. Sterling status. Rigged and ready. The power core module. Uh, you use tech scrap to level up and get module points for your distribution among the following stats. Health, just about more hits. Stamina lets you perform more actions. Um, battery lets you either cut limbs from enemies or use injection implants. Higher Battery efficiency makes injections longer. Hmm. Alright, close. Let's see. I'm gonna pick. I got no points, anyways. Sorry. Actually. Hmm. Check that. Uh, bank scrap. Level up. Do I have enough? I'm gonna bank the scrap. And then now I'm gonna pit points into health and stamina. Except. Alright, though I don't have enough yet. Yeah, shit. <laughs> Construct. Oh, here we go. Now we're all set up now. <laughs> Have a nice day, officer. Hmm. 
<laughs> she just died. Saber. Uh, oh, we had to deal with him, huh? <laughs> Come over, buddy. Cut that arm off. Bam. Equalizer. Got a new weapon. <laughs> did you find a rig to get me out? Shit. Is it dead? Thank you. I was beginning to lose hope. I'd love to repay you, but as you might guess, I'm a bit broke right now. I hope I see you again. Ben Burke never leaves a debt unpaid. Where are you heading now? I heard there's an evacuation camp in the city. Gateway Bravo or something. Gonna try my luck there. I always wanted to be a search and rescue guy. Maybe we'll see each other around. Uh, how did you end up in the detention anyway? You heard about Creo, right? Well, I was there. Damn government dudes came. Thought I was finally safe. But they wouldn't let me go. Even after I told them all about what happened. What happened to Creo? Something like a power surge went through the whole system. Melted circuits and brains alike. And the whole damn factory tore itself apart. I lost my whole team in there. Even Smith. But this time, I swear I'll keep people safe. Are you okay? No, damn it, I'm not okay. Haven't been okay in weeks. People are killing each other for scraps out there. It's complete anarchy. I can only pray we make it out in one piece. But even if we do, I have no idea what's waiting for us. Goodbye. Come to the evac camp. I'll be there. All right, cool. Benjamin's key card. You son of a bitch. Bam. Put you in half. Some healing done. Let's see what the hell's down here. So I wasn't able to come in here anyways. Audio log. Bank the stuff. Uh, bank. Which makes them spawn back. Oh shit. <laughs> Trying to get that weapon off her because I know if you, uh.
I'm gonna try this one more time and see if I can get. Get that weapon. Equipped. Should I use these? Um, tracks. Interesting. Oh, it's like the one handed swords. Nobody gets out on my watch. Stay back. I see something over there in that wall there. Inventory. What is this? Directional block analyzer. Displays the directions in which you can. Directionally block incoming attacks. Hmm. Wait, do I implants? Yes, I know about the gear. Um, implants. Oh, I already have it on now. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, that's something. Got all these. Got no armor yet, so. I guess I definitely gotta get used to uh, blocking. <laughs> See how that shit works. It's coming right at him. Are you pacing the maneuvers? Take you pace the maneuvers! Shit! need to. Android body parts. Hmm. Like I said, this is a game I definitely have to get used to. At least the style of it, at least. <laughs> oh, I get it now. Okay. Practice a little bit on this guy, come on. There we go. Well, I got it now. <laughs> Pick that up. Cut weapons you already have to gather crafting materials. Okay. the big dude in here. Let's see what you got hiding in here, buddy. Hmm. Shit. I mean, this creature is just destroying every damn thing. <laughs> Is. 
before we get into that, what was this thing? Um, automatically consumes a battery to pre-charge the currently selected injectable implant right before it would run out. Huh, that's definitely interesting. Alright, let's interact. First boss. Off real quick. <laughs> Come on, dude. I'll take my time if I have to. Alright, come on. Oh shit. I'll just do my constant hits. armor is almost dead and that arm is mine BAM Warren Garcia offline owner killed in action assigning drone to nearby police exo room <laughs> plus I just got his nightfall armor gear too that bad that bad Was actually pretty good for the first boss fight. It's just tough. Can I get my toy, please? Oh, right. Sorry. I'm Athena. Athena Gutenberg. Your toy. A girl's toy. Can you hear me? Go to Fort Nixon. Find out what happened to Athena. Health replenished. Okay, target toggle, target locked, blood drone, and fire drone. Okay, cool. <laughs> I gotta pick this up. Oh, okay. Okay, get used to the jumping part. <laughs> oh, yep. Gain full battery charge. Okay. That's one thing cool about that battery. Um, it's always gonna keep me um, extra charged so I don't have to actually use a battery to heal myself which is pretty nice Spaces. Hmm. So far, so good. Unlock that. Doing pretty good so far. <laughs> it's 
it's like I said, it is a learning curve, but don't get me wrong. It's definitely something I gotta work towards to uh, get better at. But I will, uh, like I said, eventually get there as time goes on. Downtown Jericho City. Do you want to actually get into the town? <laughs> See how crazy this place is. Cloud 9, JCPD, which is where I'm at. Ah, you took the lift after all. At last, we meet in the flesh. DLC content activated. DLC content. Oh, okay. Loot scan. <laughs> Talk. There's a fire burning in your eyes, Acolyte. I haven't seen anything like it in a long time. The city is dying. The court is our last safe haven. Join my brethren and take back control. It's now or never. I just woke up from a coma. <laughs> Did you see that monster that was down there? I can see your confusion. You must have been locked away for a long time. You'll be in for a rude awakening. The world has changed in a heartbeat. I'd explain more, but it's best to witness the new order with your own eyes. Why did you help me? I belong to the Children of the Spark, a small but growing church dedicated to a great cause. We're always on the lookout for recruits like yourself. Someone willing to get their hands dirty for the greater good. Journey forth and find the court where our prophet, Brother Eli, will welcome you with open arms. See that giant octopus? Right under its tentacles, you'll find safe shelter. What do you want for want me to do again? <laughs> what happened to the city? You must have been in there for a very long time indeed. You'll see the awful truth soon enough. Anarchy reigns supreme on our streets. People fear the new dawn that's upon us. The government built a wall around us to hold back the inevitable. They reject the change that comes with the nanite swarm. This plague is not what it seems. Humanity is ascending. We are the progenitors of a new race. Uh, so where the hell am I anyways? <laughs> You're staring at Jericho City, Acolyte. At least what's left of it. Alright, goodbye. Brother Eli will reveal your destiny. Sure he will. Meet Brother Eli at the Seaside Courts. Hmm. This place is pretty wild looking, I'm not gonna lie. Giant ass octopus. Long way to go. Hmm. Square. What the hell? No, that is something. Holy shit. This whole damn city is like in a giant dome almost. It's pretty cool. Interesting uh, s little story. <laughs> Just care uh, this place. Going down. Oh, I didn't want to go back up. Damn it. <laughs> Sucked me back up. I'm trying to get behind there. There we go. Gotta get by there without uh, trying to get sucked up there. <laughs> Small pile of metal scraps. Didn't strike first, huh? Wise choice. Although these days I wouldn't blame you. There aren't a lot of good people around Jericho these days. Can't help but wonder whose side you're on. I'm one of the good guys. Does my answer make any difference? Think I'm joking? These streets are filled with scum. So what side are you on? I'm one of the good guys. You'll be one of the dead guys soon if you don't upgrade your pitiful equipment. Trust me. I know my stuff. Upgrade how? Where you been all your life? It's survival of the fittest out here. If you get in a fight, the winner takes all. See that med bay right next to me? This is where you take your spoils to craft and upgrade equipment. Maybe you should give it a try. Here, take these parts and give it a go. What are you doing here? Beats me. I should have been smart enough to leave when there was still time, but I got inconvenienced. Helping people is kind of what I do. Besides, 
still have some unfinished business here. Let's leave it at that. Uh, what's your name? I might tell you one of these days, if you live long enough. You're kind of mysterious. Just like you, then. Let's be glad we got out in time and keep it at that. I've been to a lot of hell holes lately, but this one wins hands down. Some material to craft or upgrade at the med bay. So how way to get around? Direct. New med bay unlocked. upgrade a little bit. Uh, let's see. Level up. And bank the rest. I'm going to put some points in efficiency. This is more in health. Except construct. Yes, I know I could craft. Okay. And they fall armor gear. Hmm. Problem is, I wonder if it's heavy. When the battery is filled, restored a small amount of health. Full set. Partial set to increase your own damage when it is close to its target. Defense. Hmm. Looks like a heavy set, so I don't think I want to mess with that. Um. Let me actually upgrade. Yes, I know. Um, I'm gonna upgrade. So maybe this. That should be good. Since it's the weapon I am using. You are here. All right. There, nope. Huh. So, did we get some new arms or some shit? I thought we did. <laughs> thought we did for a second there. Let me look at what we have here. Okay, we don't have nothing right there. We got all the weapons, okay. Get this open. Most enemies can get enraged during combat. Their health bar will flash while theirs, this state is active. Enraged enemies are much less likely to be staggered by incoming attacks. He's also to die too. <laughs> Got all these arrows too. From online players. <laughs> Can't go on that side, that's a shortcut we can unlock later. A revenge enemy has appeared. Hmm. Audio. Welcome to Jericho City. Exploring our sprawling downtown can be a bit intimidating at first. There's always something fun going on wherever you go. You'll find street musicians, artists, newcomers, tourists, Family, couple, wallflowers, the poor and the rich. In Jericho, we live together in harmony and respect each other's boundaries. So take a deep breath and enjoy the sights. And if you can't find your way, why not ask one of our friendly locals? Can't jump over. <laughs> Which like can't grab the edge. Small pile of scrap. Hmm. 
Come on, buddy. Gotta make sure I take his arm. That arm is mine. his right arm. I think he was kind of a little confused there. <laughs> Got a schematic arm. Oh, so this is the revenge enemy. Rest in peace. Hmm. Oh, yeah, like any other players that die, leave behind um, players I think that killed them. And then you allow them to rest in peace, which is pretty neat. Hmm. Let me just check something real quick. Um, automatically consume a battery to pre-charge the currently selected injectable. Mm. There we go. You gotta hold the button to, uh, get that active. <laughs> but, guys, I'll probably end it here for now, at least for the first episode. But thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, so appreciate if you leave a like. Subscribe for more. I will see you awesome people in the next part. Peace.